Welcome to the Pump and Dump channel for another video. This time doing another transaction in the theoretical model portfolio. The um, decision here is to sell DHT holdings. The reason for that is um, the weakness that I see going into next year for the the um, the tanker market. At the current point in time, things are still looking okay in some aspects like the amounts of vessels that are on on storage duty they are out of the fleet they are not competing but at the same time we see that the rates have plummeted in the spot market they're around I think like ten thousand dollars a day which is below the break-even cost for DHT holding in terms of charters they're around thirty thirty eight forty thousand dollars a day I saw they signed a two-year charter for two years at forty forty thousand dollars a day and that suggests that the company is, is a bit bearish We're looking out into the future the stock price is up I listened to the conference call they talked about how it is still a seller's market rather than a buyer's market and um, here I think what has driven most of this this rally here is relating to the fact that you know the cash flows are still strong they're looking good there's a dividend coming and people are buying it for the dividend and you know that kind of agreed where you're looking at what is now and you're thinking oh I'm going to make 30 percent every year is um, is not what the reality is reflecting looking at the forward projections so I revisited this revised my target lowered it to four dollars and ninety that's kind of the maximum I would see the stock at so I think over the next year this is probably going to go back into the three dollar range three to the three dollars and fifty range at some point and um, this is just unfortunately how it is sometimes the market is going in your favor and sometimes it is not and you just have to exploit the volatility and when the market is wrong like at this point in time where they're guided by greed rather than looking at um, looking at objectively you just take advantage of it that's the way it is so stock here selling this one with the proceeds buying the Goodyear tie and rubber company has nothing to do with Trump's tweet about calling for a boycott telling people not to buy their their tires it's really about the valuation I came up with when I was looking at the company two or three weeks ago and um, I've kind of gotten comfortable with it I believe that this is a really good business the company's well run really well it's was not necessarily a good business because it's very competitive but they are you know one of the good companies in this uh, in this space and I kind of liked what I saw when I was reviewing the company's financials and its you know its website its business it's they even have a YouTube channel that has interesting stuff on but I guess if someone's into you know tires and motorsport they probably would want to watch that more but for me I am um, just I'm looking at it as a, an investment so when I was reviewing it I came out with a fair value of about nineteen dollars and twenty nine cents per share and it's trading around half and it's been as low as four dollars a share so there is some some challenge I guess here in in some sense but I, I feel confident enough in the long term that they will they will pull through there's um, always demand for tires replacement tires and things like that and that's uh, a large part of their business most of their business is in the US so here it is really um, very important to see whether Trump is going to have an effect in terms of calling for a boycott they don't just do tires for um, for individuals they also do it for businesses and businesses they really look at um, buying buying tires on mostly on price and value they look at value and price a lot so if you like um, I don't know let's say you're a mining company and you need to buy new tires for your for your vehicles your big um, excavation trucks you're going to look at buying a good tire that has a good price value for money that's all you look at and they do offer price matching for tires so it's kind of like they compete on quality rather than rather than on price and that is like a sign of a, a strong company in in the sector so I like it i um, going to put it into the theoretical model portfolio I've um, already built the transaction here so I don't have to type it up whilst I'm doing the video so you can see I've sold off the HT holdings and uh, proceeds have gone out and come back in to a good year there we go I added also the, um, the dividend for Diamondback which I I saw came due actually on the um, I think it was the, the 12th as of the 12th you were entitled to it so I added that here too 
and uh, with Diamondback I kind of am a bit disappointed it's uh, it's gone down even though it in my in my mind it should have gone up I reviewed it once more and came out with a with a fifty eight dollars and ninety three cent target as of where oil prices at are at right now and and gas prices so I, I think here it is maybe ag again the situation I had with range resources up here where I kind of was thinking at 670 was a, a great deal thinking eleven dollars was was fair value and then it just kept falling and when it was here at 515 I you know I sold my CNX and bought more of it and that was at the bottom I think or pretty close to the bottom and it's rebounded and it's um it's been as high as nine dollars and thirty five and I did mention I did mention that number in one of my videos when I was talking about how you know the fair value is is um is kind of like more like eleven based upon natural gas liquids pricing but the way the market uh, prices these oil and gas companies using natural gas liquids being um being at a discount based upon the historical discount from the previous year to WTI and with that I kind of came out with nine dollars and and uh thirty five and it kind of hit that number and it's the way it is. Yeah, it's got it's gone down now. Natural gas price has been weak and not weaker but it's kind of top it's topped out and it looked weak today and it's um it's being reflected in the um natural gas stocks like CNX two they this one also went down quite substantially today. Um it's kind of the market is looking for natural gas to top out in th in the near term and start retracing and that's what it's kind of reflecting here but in terms of um, seeing a clear sell sign for CNX and suggesting that the rally is over um, I did not see that but I, I do I do see that natural gas is topping out and as a consequence of that I think caution is is the um, the way of the day just to, to be careful with these natural gas stocks because the natural gas price could just drop by five or ten percent in an instant and that's just the, the nature of how these commodities are so yeah that's where it's at um, we'll see how it goes in the future so at the current point in time with updated pricing here it's kind of suggesting a ten percent um, profit so far we still have uh, three months and a bit till the end of the year to see if uh, we can push this up I am pretty confident that um, Diamondback will start moving up at some point and it hopefully will be the ex exact same experience as with range resources where it initially is going down for um, I don't know like how many days was that like uh, a week and a half and then after that it will start moving up strongly and uh, hopefully get to this this target I have um, there are some of course some problems with that target um, that I'm not going to get into right now but it's relating to um, the the company's reported reserves they they most likely will decline with the um, decline in oil price this year as compared to next uh, as compared to last year and that could suggest that the company has less reserves than it really does and could lead to um, a drop going into next year at some point in time so we'll see how it goes with that but also there's a chance that they might I you know add some more some more barrels of oil with uh, some some drilling that they probably are doing so we'll see what happens here um, going to leave it with that so remember as always that investment advice or recommendations to buy or not to buy this is just me um, doing kind of a long-term portfolio just just managing it occasionally buying something selling something this is uh, not necessarily how I do my own money I'm a bit more active I guess than, than you see here I mean you can see I have weeks in between where I do nothing and I don't really worry about it so, I mean things go up things go down it's the way it is but as long as the um, as long as the one-year target is above where the stock price is I'm usually comfortable holding and that's kind of why with uh, DHT holding here it's not a question of relative value versus another company it's really a question of absolute value and buying good year here is, um, it is a question of this is available this is what I'll take and 
that's the way it's going to be. So I'm going to leave it with that for this video. Um, I think I mentioned it's not investment advice, recommendations to buy or not to buy. As always, um, if you like the content, you can always subscribe and follow how it goes going into the end of the year. If you uh, want to leave a question, come to opinion, you can leave, leave it in the comment section. And with that said, have a good day.